state consciousness. That tells the worker that he is below the manager in a work sense. This way, a worker is enough on the same level with his manager, that he can go to him with a problem, but at the same time, still know that he is, if he's not doing his job, that he's going to know about it. Well, I think we've all been enlightened. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming today. And thanks, Dr. Your work, your workplace. Thank you, Rob. Next week, some broadcaster from WRUFM, the University of Florida, are going to come by and talk about their program and have their training students in the broadcasting field. It's an excellent, excellent department, and I'm sure that they'll have many enlightening things for those interested in the field. Thank you very much for, for joining us today. Again, gentlemen, I'm glad you could be with us. And, um, and for on the job, I'm Rob Schweitzer. Have a good day.
Keith Washington on the speed front. April 15th is not that far off, and if you find yourself sinking slowly into a sea of confusing forms and confounding instruction pamphlets, our featured occupation may just be the one you're looking for. Our guests today are both certified public accountants and board members of a successful, respected accounting firm here in Gainesville. Take one. President and Chairman of the Ready Board right. of WNS Accounting, Ms. Lisa Wolf. Along right. with us is Ms. Wolf's partner, Vice President of the WNS firm, Ms. Nancy Smith. Take Welcome three. to you both. Thank you. Glad to be here. I'll ask you, Ms. Wolf, to give a simple rundown of tasks one would encounter as a professional accountant. Well, basically, an accountant keeps records of assets, liabilities, and other transactions of a business. Supervision of bookkeeping activities such as recording receipts, expenses, tax more. payments, and purchases also fall into the category of accounting work. The filing of reports and statements for a business, along with the responsibility to conduct audits, handle orders, drop invoices and vouchers, and prepare and file tax returns to government agencies, rounds out a hefty list of tasks and responsibilities the accounting professional encounters on the job. Take camera three. Ms. Smith, camera what are the opportunities for two. employment in the field, and what, in your opinion, are important skills and training perspectives that employees should have in order to be successful in today's accounting market? Take camera one. An accountant may be employed by a business three, work close up the host. for a number of businesses or That's be good. a member of a public accounting firm. An accountant who passes the state examination and meets other state requirements may become a certified public accountant. As far as training and skills are uh, concerned, no, many employers okay. have their own job entry level requirements. However, I would suggest someone entering the field for the first time to meet a few basic requirements. Attaining a college degree in accounting is almost ahead. mandatory in today's competitive job market. Go ahead and zoom in slightly real slow. The ability to work with figures, report, okay, that's good. operate that's good. a 10-key adding machine, and have a dependable and trustworthy character are also very Ready important take camera three. attributes a prospective accountant should have. Take camera three. Ms. Wolf, it would seem logical that your camera work would be very please. demanding. As far as hours spent on the job are concerned, during this time of this okay. year, which is, of good course, tax season, how dramatically does this annual event affect your ego routine? Well, as this chart one. graphically explains, the work hours of our firm greatly increased by a percentage of 57% during the month of January and February, reaching a peak around late March, okay, early April. In terms of hours, this translates to 1,122 hours of work during 17 weeks of tax season, as but it also are. requires <laughs> a lot of effort and self-motivation. I highly recommend it. Take camera three. That's uh, very interesting, but y'all, I'm so glad you could uh, join okay. us here today. Get ready to uh, okay, got talk online. more about the accounting. Go ahead. We're about running out of time. Oh, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Thank you very much uh, for watching today's edition of On the Job. Oh, Remember, April 15th is not that far off. I'm Andy uh -huh. Cope. Good day. Uh, solve mixed effects. Bring up some credit. Thank you. Okay, ready to fade out music, ready to fade to black. Bye, real short.
Bob Schweitzer, the bank's senior vice president. Take Welcome. Break. Take it. Take it. Tell us, Matina, what are some of the transactions you handle on your account? Take two, take two. Well, I deal with the basic financial transactions as a customer. But mainly, it's important to be able to handle deposits and payments. Get your camera one. Cash checks and issue travelers and cashiers Ready checks. Three. At the same time, I have to watch out for forged checks, counterfeit money, and overdraft. Ready, take three, take three. Well, Mr. Schweitzer, you began at SunBank as a teller. One. What other responsibilities does a teller have? Take one. Well, to add what Matina, to what Matina was saying, a teller must keep accurate records, later use three. in balancing books and accounts, and always have enough money handy to carry on daily business. Matina, was it really hard for you to become a bank teller? Well, I simply went down to SunBank one day and applied. I was called at home a few days later and granted an interview. After I was hired, I was assigned a window with another Time. teller who helped me learn how to handle the various transactions after the initial training. I worked at my own window serving the customer after that. Oh, well, Mr. Schweitzer, I imagine at one time you interviewed prospective tellers. And what did you look for in them? Well, prior experience always helps when considering an applicant, but it's good to have a friendly personality.
Also, one must consider that there are only 650 Major League Baseball players out of hundreds of thousands that want to try to become one. It's just as hard, if not harder, than breaking into show business. Take three. Gary, you mentioned the financial rewards a moment ago. What can you Maybe tell us about the pay scale in baseball? Take one. Level. In the in the camera room. three, let's go to the over the shoulder the showers range. Camera two, two shot the guess your five. Nineteen thousand dollars. Ninety percent of these people never get any further. The ten percent that do enter the big league. Fine. Base value of the minimum work. salary is just the bit. You see forty thousand dollars. Okay. The average salary in baseball today is around a hundred and seventy five thousand dollars and rising steadily. Then come the players with the short term million okay. dollar contract. Averaging about $625,000 a year. Losing his voice, trying to get a lot of sex. It's a lifetime contract. Like okay, the one recently three? signed by Bruce Suter with the Atlanta Braves. He will receive $43 million over the next 36 years. Mm -hmm. we this includes a $750,000 a year salary, plus an insurance <laughs> company trust fund that will pay him interest. As you can see, Lisa, okay, there's ready, a wide three. range of salary differences. Take three. Rick, many of our viewers would be interested in information that would be how to throw a baseball. Now, you personally yeah, throw an yeah. effective fastball and curveball. Would you show our audience how to throw these pitches? You even have a baseball you can use. Okay. Yeah, ready, ready, camera two. one. Yeah, yeah ready, camera <laughs> one. <laughs> camera one. It's thrown in several ways. Camera two, get a bunch of the first guess. Methods. You can either grip the ball between the seams, like this. That's uh, good. The second, the second is across the seams, like this. This Fine. way, uh, you give the ball a little bit of dip, and that, will, and when you throw the fastball, you just follow through in a straight motion like this. Now the curve is thrown with one finger off the side <laughs> of the seam, and the side you hold, the uh, side of the seam you hold, will dictate which way the ball will curve. Then when you throw the ball, you must give it a little twist with your wrist. The twisting you ready motion to gives the ball some spin. This is necessary for the curving effect. That's basically how these pitches are thrown. Thank you, Rick. That was quite informative. Mm -hmm. Gary, what can you tell us about the baseball player's hours, duties, oh, wow. and requirements? The camera two. Needless to say, we have very strange and the one by shot hours. Gets number two. We sometimes play day games, other times night games, and occasionally we play twilight games around six o'clock. Our year begins in February with spring training, and as long as long as October, if we make the playoffs. Go to camera three this next. is about nine months okay. of traveling from city to city, time zone to time zone. This does get a giant get a little player, okay, but most of us three. wouldn't have any other way. Shot. Our duty is to remain on control diet, and back to use weight okay. to gain strength and stamina, so up and to get take advantage sleep. of this. <laughs> These things are not always easy to do, but are part of the job. As far as requirements, this is simple. We must produce what we are paid to produce, or we won't last very long. Seconds. A power hitter must hit home runs, a speedster must steal his bases, and a pitcher must win ball games. With the exception of a few individuals with no cut contract, job security does not exist. Tell Lisa to wrap it up. What would you say to our viewers who are considering a career in baseball? Tell Rob, real short, real short. If you want to play professional baseball, you must possess two qualities. First, raw talent and, you, and the basic ability to... Tell them to uh, cut it. Cut it. Go back to the camera. Tell her to wrap through. it up. Wrap it well, up. Well, things are out of time. Beautiful. I want to thank okay. you for joining us. We also want to thank all of you out there for joining us tonight. We'll I mean, see you next week. This is Lisa Wolf for On the Job. Ready to roll music, ready to fade to effects, ready to close mics. Roll music, fade to mix effects, close mics, roll the credits.
However, the probabilities can be used right, as a guide to determine whether or not to bank. Taking Avon Park as an example, one could expect a 32 degree temperature. Down a bit, please. No, That's yeah, fine. 32 degree temperature in 83 percent of the years, a 28 temperature in 40 percent of the years, and so on. How many different Take ways three. could a girl All right, one, a two. A bank Take can two. be constructed by hand with a shovel, right, a, a blade on a tractor, or a banking machine.